Uh -huh. You used breast thermography in your practice. Um, what is that and how is it different from um, what women traditionally get as a mammography? Thermography, the concept behind thermography is rather than detecting abnormal calcifications, which is technically what mammograms do, uh, you're looking, it's a thermal image. And they do thermography actually for uh, detection and surveillance of other cancers. And actually the argument is that thermography can detect cancers much earlier because cancer cells are very hypermetabolic and they're producing a lot of new cells, a lot of blood vessels, so they put off more thermal energy, mm -hmm. which will show up as a different color on a thermographic picture. And so it's still not something I can recommend as an alternative to mammography simply because that's still not standard of care. But patients have very real concerns about the radiation exposure with mammograms and um, the, the cancers, the early cancers that mammograms may not detect. So I have some patients, and it's their choice to either do mammograms, um, thermograms only, or a combination of, of both. And so what, what entails a, a thermogram? What, is a, what does a patient go through versus mm -hmm. mammography? We've heard well, how uncomfortable right. you know, mammograms are. What right. are the differences? Well, you don't um, have, the breast isn't actually exposed to any uh, trauma, for lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. It's basically a thermal image. So the patient basically stands and you take a picture. Uh, and you have to obviously let them rest because just the whole idea that they can exercise and that's going to produce mm -hmm. you know, energy. So there's a specific protocol uh, by which you use to get them prepared for the, but then you just, it's a picture. So nothing's put in between metal anything and there's mm -hmm. no radiation exposure. It's just a thermal image. Can photograph. that at some point be a better alternative than a mammogram or is that not going to be accepted, <laughs> do you think? It depends on who you ask, and because I'd like to keep my medical license, I probably won't answer that. But the fact that I um, mention it to my patients and I let them know about it, obviously I do put credibility in, into thermography. And at the very least, patients, I believe, need to do it at least in conjunction with mammography.